guys fifa 22 is finally here and before we get into our many many uh series that we're gonna do on this channel lots of ideas coming up um i asked you guys on twitter for your starter teams the teams that you're using to kick off your fifa 22 uh campaign in regards to ultimate team and that is going to be uh what we look at today we're going to be hopefully having a look at um a variety of different teams i will show you my team towards the end and um yeah explain you know some of the some of the ideas that i've got with ultimate team um this fifa really really excited to get it good to see those fifa points as well just as a bit of a, a disclaimer don't panic if your fifa points were late to show um just a bit of a delay i think all in all i know many people whose points were kind of slowed in in you know actually appearing i didn't know i'd got mine until about five minutes ago and i just you know just turned everything on logged on and everything um so yeah don't worry about it so um first up we've got brody's team um i'm gonna see if i can actually zoom in with this a little bit view actual size that could help oh there we go see um so yeah brody's team he spent no money on the game as well which is great it's what you like to see i like this i mean there's no harm in spending money on the game but still it's nice to see what you can achieve you know without that as well i do believe he's just waiting on getting body in there and that will complete his uh, team of basically mendy and goal very very good uh, goalkeeper from what i've heard so far this fifa haven't had the luxury of using him myself yet i'm hoping that i do get him um and i'll explain why a little bit later on towards the end of the video uh, but on the right hand side he's got prem so he's got the chelsea duo actually trio if, if you like really of mendy uh rudiger and uh, james as well looks looks a nice a nice little combination like rudiger's very very good in game um come up against him a handful of times not used him again same with james as well um actually haven't used any of these players yet which yeah unfortunately but hopefully we will be able to get our hands on them um like say yeah on the right hand side he's got uh sancho there with rice and vardy so it's premier league towards the right hand side love that i've seen a lot of people using 442 i haven't used it yet i'm always kind of stick with the 433 uh the 4334 formation always kind of stick with that um which is like, I don't know, it's kind of because I have my tactics on there, I'm a little bit stubborn, I'm a little bit set in my ways, but it's a formation that I enjoy using. But um, maybe, who knows, maybe this is the FIFA where we branch out once we get some more players in the, you know, in the squad, maybe we branch out and change formation with our team. Um, but I would say really um, your real upgrades that are going to be, um, by the way, this, this Spanish league left hand side is absolutely flawless. I think, I don't think there's really much to upgrade that. I have no idea how this guy plays in game, but he seems pretty solid to be honest. He seems like he could do a job. Maybe if, if you could switch, like sort of switch that up and get somebody that that's Spanish league, but would also, you know, that you could get on like full cam, that would be great. If you, you know, I think that's the only little bit there there's nobody he's actually the only player that's like you know not quite on on full cam he's not as close as the others the others are literally on nine and then everyone else gets full cam which is great and i can see how you know he's implemented that with the the, the english links with you know rice and sancho tavardi as well being english and prem um and obviously with reese james in there as well and then the, the influence of having Rudiger again with Chelsea so I, I do get that I do get and, and that is fine I, I would personally I don't know what Rice is like again but I'd probably say maybe try and upgrade him I think as his team grows then he's got the boundaries there to go on for me you know personally in my opinion he's got the boundaries there really to go on and create an absolute if he can just develop that team um to have a fantastic team um and and yeah what a way to start fifa 22 um we should be able to go back i do believe and uh and go on to our next one uh which is kalem's team oh, kalem has got himself um spanish league has, seems to be very very popular i think this has been done on the companion app respect it um 
I can't fault it. It's full Spanish league. You've got obviously the lone dog Felix. Maybe if you like him enough, you can get the uh, uh, the, the proper Joe Felix. Let's call it, you know, a, an actual Joe Felix rather than just a loan. Um, but yeah, the players in there look solid. Diego Carlos is an absolute beast. I'm not used long lay, but I can imagine he's pretty decent as well. That looks a solid defense, solid backline. Not too sure about the keeper, but you know, again, there'll, there'll be upgrades as and when needed. Um, you know, there Suarez as well. GG, I'm getting Suarez so early. Um, you know, still doing bits, still doing bits at his age. And I think it was Davis Plays that did a video on Suarez, and he still got it. And I think having Joel Felix around him, the likes of Fakir as well, and you know, Asensio and, and Carrasco there as well. I think having those guys around him, like Suarez, will get you goals regardless. Like he's just, he's just such a great striker. Um, next team we have got is Curran's team and uh, we have got the, we've got David De Gea in goal um, I've just discovered the fact that I can zoom in with my mouse fantastic um, again we've gone for like Spanish and a little and a little bit of like like well I was going to say Spanish league but no we've gone for a Spanish infused Premier League team that's what we're going for I'm not used to seeing Ramos with the PSG badge next to his name clearly um but yeah we got the hair in there ramos and laporte looks great probably i don't know what that those guys are like for pace but maybe if you could get a little bit of a pace boost on them that's that's solid to be fair you've got um jesus navas his name was escaping me and i just managed to pull it back there uh, and regulon as your fullbacks not too sure what regulon's like but again it's early doors and that is that's that's a class back line. That that is just a class back line. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the only thing it may be lacking, like I say, is a little bit of pace with your centre backs. But other than that, you know, it's it's not too bad at all. You've got Rodri as your holding man, the holding midfielder there. Big guy he is. Really underrated actually. I really, really liked Rodri last FIFA. I think a lot of people were put off again because of the lack of pace with him. But um if you can find a way to make that work still then you know you're practically laughing and he's got Gundogan and Thiago who can also drop back um I know Gundogan spe like specifically can drop back he can do a job defensively as well so I don't know what your tactics are but like you can you could have your two um personally if I was using that team I like to give uh, my weakness is definitely defense um terrible at defending I always have been just kind of impatient and very irrational to be honest um so I know personally what I would do is I'd at least I'd have him on probably drop between and I'd have one of these on definitely stay back. If not, I'd be tempted to have both on stay back because I think with Foden, Lukaku and Werner, Werner was very, very overpowered last year for very, very good. I remember especially sort of early doors, he was very very good not too sure again obviously what he's like this fifa haven't seen an awful lot of him who i have seen a lot of though is this guy big rom absolutely cracking player obviously had a great season last season as well and he's marked his return to the premier league signing for chelsea um i think we're yet to see the best of big rom but i think once he does you know he will absolutely bang goals. You know this guy is going to get a team of the week at some point. Mate, possibly going to get a ones to watch as well. That could be on the cards. Would be very, very interesting. But yeah, I think those three there provide you enough attacking strength. Love Foden, by the way. I had him <clears throat> early doors uh, in my team. And I absolutely loved him. He's just one of them players that just, he fits like a glove, like when you use him. It's hard, I, I don't know how else to describe it other than that. He just literally just fits so well. He plays really well, feels good on the ball. And you just kind of, he's just one of them players that you're just confident with. You know, you see Foden making a run. You know you're going to pass it into Foden. And you know that something good's going to come off the end of that. Like, I, I, again, like I say, I don't really know how else to describe it other than that. But I really like that team uh, once again. Next up, we've got uh, Dylan's team. And uh, Dylan has got himself a uh, crawling goal. He's gone for... Premier League with a little bit infused like we've got a bit of Dutch League here too we've got a couple of we've got actually we've got an Ajax quadruple 
um, Nico Tagliafico, who just off the off the record here, we all know I love a cheeky little face scan slash head scan, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Mr. Tagliafico has got himself one in the game, and he's looking lovely, I have to say. Um, but I see what you're doing there with Krull in goal. I think there's another way you could go about that possibly, just as, as and when you develop and you get more players in. Um, you could put a different twist onto that left-hand side. These guys, they're, they're not bad players at all. I've Dutch, we had some very, very nice Dutch cards, and I, you know, Ajax specifically uh, cards last FIFA as well. There's a couple of Feyenoord gems as well. Um, and But I think that you know we can we you can definitely put a different twist onto that maybe they'll get better, better cards as it goes as well uh 96 chem as well so if you could try and get some of those guys uh on better chemistry again that would be great as well i tell you who you could do with i mean if you wanted to keep the dutch kind of thing going there van dyke would do you a solid he'd get full chem with um of course trent and then he would again yeah he would get chemistry with the dutch uh, sense about that as well and uh, also Krull maybe you could go like one better maybe risk say getting someone like Allison in and having full camp you could have a full kind of like what we saw with um I think it was Brody's team where he had sort of Chelsea towards this this side here and then um it, I think it was Spanish wasn't it towards the left you could possibly implement something a bit similar like that but Liverpool um that would be great but other than that I know Dylan is a Southampton fan he's got himself Wood Prowse in there love to see it Foden's in there he's got himself Armstrong up top great card by the way actually a really really nice card I had it um right at the start of the game it was like in your you know your starter squad that's literally just given to you as you like open up ultimate team i had him in that and he was decent he helped me get some objectives done and we just upgraded uh, and so on and that tony card you're gonna have to let me know how that tony card is very very jealous that you've got that i would love him in my team heard amazing things about him again i think davis plays did a really good review on him um or spoke about him at least in it in another review that he did and yeah he just seems absolutely insane but honestly Dylan really good start there just look at your chemistry and I don't know if you're doing like a road to glory so if you're in like implementing some rules onto your team but um yeah when you can get them upgrades I think that'll be great next up we've got I, I never know how to say his name <laughs> I'm gonna go with Din Din Fei I think but, but he knows who he is um, over on Twitter. I love this. It's just different. <clears throat> um, I'm guessing we've not spent any coins. We've got a full German league team. German league's the way to go. I've seen a lot of Haaland and uh, Donny Marlin sort of combinations. They look great. Um, although I've heard Marlin is a little bit hit and miss. But again full German league love it I think you're just I think he's just put players in here that he just wants to you know have a go at with and a rate it obviously get yourself a German right fit German league right mid in there you're laughing German league to glory perhaps is that is that the way that we're going there but I respect it fully fully respect it you could do with like a Kimmich in there oh you'd be good to go wouldn't you you could do with that do with that uh Kimmich for sure um and yeah, there's a couple of good. I think there's. I think Horn um, has a team of the week actually currently. Um, he would be great for you as well. Yeah, keep going with it. I'm excited to see how that progresses as well. Love the fact you got the full cam on there. Like I say, a couple of silver cards as well. Well, maybe discover a couple of hidden gems. Love. Next up, we've got Eddie's team, which I absolutely love. Love the team name Hay as well, by the way. And uh, we'll, we'll get into why he gets two bonus points for this in a moment. It's, it's a little bit biased from me. We've got Pickers and Goal. We've got Maguire and Canate at the back. I really, really want to pat this guy. I really want to see what he's like. Just very eager to try him. Um, I think he has the potential to be like such a good centre-back. I'm hoping that he gets a ones to watch, actually. That would be really, really good. Uh, but we got Wambasaka, Dina as the fullbacks, which is great as well. Um, I don't know much. I know Wambasaka was pretty good last FIFA, so I'm presuming he's you know all right again this FIFA. Dina, I don't know too much about. He's got quite a good rate in there, but I don't know if he's got like 
just in game like how he is because I ha I've heard kind of like mixed things about him but um I get why he's in there and he does provide that link to Mr. S M Miss Mrs. to Mr. Francis Coquelin uh in that as well who gets your bonus points because he's ex Arsenal and I'm an Arsenal fan uh but Casemiro and Valverde in that as well great honestly love that obviously there is better than Coquelin but it's the start of the game and I think Coquelin is good enough for a starter team Isco is the cam. We've got Lucas Perez. Yes, you love to bloody see it in there. And Rodrigo uh, as striker there. Love that, honestly. Big fan of Lucas Perez. I was really, really gutted that he didn't sort of stay at Arsenal for a bit longer. I think we were a little bit harsh on him, to be honest. Um, but props to you, Eddie. Absolute props to you for that team. Elliot, now, um, I think this might have changed now, but we're going to review this team anyway. I think this might have changed up quite a bit. Elliot does have a habit of having one team and having, like, as you can see here, we've got, like, German League infused with um, Dutch League, or basically just Ajax players. Um, and I get why they are in there. Um, I've just noticed something that might actually be able to help you out, if I'm not mistaken. With this team, if you swapped Grab and Birch with Kudos, um, he would get you a link. Would he not get Marlin then on full cam? Possibly. He would provide at least a yellow link to Marlin because of nationality. Um, so maybe that's something worth considering. Not too sure, but I, yeah... I, Jack, I can't remember if Elliot's changed his team or not. He does have a habit of just having a team like this and then next week he's rocking a full prime team. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Um, different, obviously very different backline other than like compared to what we've seen so far. Um, Graven Birch was great last FIFA. I really, I had Kudos uh, again in my starter team. I just used him as like a super sub when I was getting objectives and that done. And even though it was just like, just boring objectives, it's just like squad battles, a tiny bit of rivals I used him in as well. Used him as a super sub and he backed a couple of goals for me. And I, I don't know, he's one of them players that just felt quite nice. So I do like that. Bellingham I've heard amazing things about. Um, Marlon I think is a little bit hit and miss, but still respect it. And Mbolo... Uh, up top as well love to see it I think um if you can upgrade this guy like I say I mean you could go full like meta and save for somebody like Haaland and have a trio of of Haaland Marlon and Bellingham up top together holy Jesus I, I just think that would be incredible um and this here yeah like I say I think if you swapped Grab and Birch for Kudos I believe that would help out because there's no link between those two anyway and then he would still get the link with timber um and it would be green as well because they're all at they're all at ajax so yeah i think if you just swap those two you could get um marlin on full cam depends if that's a big factor for you or not but um yeah and obviously if you got holland in there he would be on full cam marlin would be and then so would bellingham anyway so decent um i think you'd lose you'd lose that there but i think you know fine anyway and yeah it's just about upgrading as you go on um i have no doubt that he will fully change his mind and just have something completely different soon anyways next we've got finn's team um we've got pickers and gold pickers a bit of a favorite this fifa i'm noticing a little bit of a pattern love to see it um We've got Concer at the back with Stones. I've recently uh, packed Concer. We'll talk about my team later though. I do keep, I just keep picking up, oh, I've used him. I'm like, yeah, I've used him. He's all right. But yeah, um, Concer and Stones duo together. Nice, nice. Classic starter team, I think. Just classic. Pereira as your foot, as your right back. That's pretty decent. Chill well. You've got pretty good fullbacks there, actually. Um, and then you've got Ruben Neves, um, Joe Felix and Ox. I think Ox, you could definitely upgrade Ox, get yourself a better Prem centre mid there. Um, if you wanted to keep it with like with English, with English, with England, to keep the England theme, you could look at maybe like, I don't know what rating Phillips is actually, but you could look at like Phillips or Rice maybe, um, somebody, somebody like that. I think you need you need somebody a little bit it depends how you play obviously but getting a 
fitting someone with like good sort of defensive or just a strong maybe like a box to box type ox does like to class himself i think as a bit of a box to box but i just think you know you could get a better option there but it's not it's nothing bad obviously like i say like that's at the end of the day it's a starter team and it's great for that grealish um i've not used him yet but i do have him on my team um but i've heard all right things about him i think he's steady he's all right i'm looking forward to to using him uh for sure armstrong up top pretty op honestly really like i say i really enjoyed using him um and then greenwood on the right there love to see it decent very very decent nice starter team i really really like it so we've got Hasler's team uh we've got bunu in goal was there when he packed him um can can say i was there the moment jack Hasler packed bunu <laughs> in the discord call of course but love to see it 84 rated team of the week goalkeeper i think he's pretty decent as well you've got edda and diego as uh, the two center backs love it Acuna and uh, james as the full backs nice reese james is a bit of a favorite I can see the FIFA as well. Foden in there. Again, I've already said, love Foden. Bellingham, he's planning on getting in there with Emre Chan. Um, Alejandro Gomez, I loved his card last FIFA. One of the Path to Glory cards. Oh, just incredible, honestly. Um, Sane and Marlin together. Um, I think if you could upgrade, maybe, maybe change that. Although if you get him on right forward, actually, probably wouldn't be too bad at all. And he gets full link anyway. You could get yourself an Erling Haaland in there. You're absolutely laughing. But I've got a full faith in Jack anyway. To uh, He completely knows what he's doing. He knows his business. And uh, I know as soon as he can, we'll have an absolute rocking team. That is class to start with already. Love to see it. Except we've got Jacob's team. Sunderland fan Jacob. Um... He has got himself trapping goal. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got we've got German lead towards the left. Nice. We'll brand in there. Nice. Um I can mute my phone. Very, very sorry. We've got Marlin as a cam, which is interesting. I like that. I think he can do a job there, to be honest, Donnie. You have to let me know what he's like as a cam. Um Gozen's on the left. Muriel up top. A lot of love for Muriel. Lozano is a beast. Such a good little player. Um, and yeah, we've got Italian League on that right hand side. I like this. I like, I like the creativity, you know, I like, I'm boring, all right, at the minute, and, but I'll tell you guys why at the end. My team is pretty boring. It's a standard, like, Premier League team. It's probably not even standard. It's a little bit below average at the minute. Um, but we've made some little upgrades. I love to see people just mix you know like leagues up and or like go with just have like a mixed theme and infuse like two leagues together or a league and a nation i don't know i just i don't know what it is i just like that i just really like to see it so i hope this works out nicely for you um i think if you could upgrade uh mr stark um definitely maybe get an upgrade on the fullbacks as well i think i think tomorrow is all right actually um but in time, obviously upgrade him. It's we've talked about this before. It's one of them that's got like the boundaries to be a really, really nice little team. Um, next up we got Jaden's team. We have got a Premier League mixed with sort of Spanish league, and we've used French players in the linkage between. I like this. This is very clever, actually. Ariola is a great goalkeeper. Uh, works really nicely in game. And we've used the, his French nationality there to link up with Longley, which I love that. Equally, we've got Camavinga in there having a French link with the three Spanish league French players. Love that. That's very nice. Getting them, getting them on full cam. Uh, he just needs a position modifier, and then he'll be on full cam. Just great. You've got Concer on the left linking up with Chilwell. Strong link between the two. Concer. I'm looking forward to seeing how he plays, to be honest. And Chile, because they're on the left, is decent. We all know what Ben Chilwell can do. We've got um, Decore in there. I think you could upgrade that eventually. I know I know Camavinga's only 78 rated. He could get a one to watch. So you could tr maybe keep a look out on that. Try and grab that if you can. Because Camavinga's very, very good. And he is doing bits at Real Madrid. I believe he can get himself a better overall rating overall a better card as well 
but maybe yeah try and upgrade decore if possible you could get yourself like mm, I, I wanted to say Foden because he'd get strong links there and there might affect Camavinga ever so slightly but I'm sure you could have a play around there's something that, that has yeah there's something else you could get in there eventually but I think for now that works pretty well we've got Ferran on the left uh big Antonio up top love to see it and Sancho on the right strong link between those two um again you could just do with like a left wing maybe I think Ferran will do a job for now but he is on six cam um but hopefully you know you could just try and get just better just overall just improve like your chemistry I'd say and then when you can if you can have like if you can get like a better um centre mid in there currently my mind's like running blank completely but I'm sure as things shape up you'll be able to get yourself something nice there Jaden it's a road to glory as well and it has a really really good base um for that next up we've got Rocco's team Pickford once again in goal obviously is aspiring to get um a full well not quite a full friend back line we've got um Emerson from Spurs we've got Davinson linking up with him strong link there concert again another favorite Akanya as a left back strong link to a campos um i love do you know what rocco props to you for the arsenal players i rate it big thomas party and martin odegaard odegaard stats look really really nice this fifa actually excuse me and thomas party i do believe is pretty cheap i believe i've just burped thomas party is uh pretty cheap as well for how good he is and i think he's he's good starter quality antonio again love it love it big man antonio we got uh ruben nevis on the uh as the right cam love that and adama of course as right wing nice i like it it's a little bit different he's not used you've got some sort of meta sort of like not meta but like op players in there um but i like the use of of party and odegaard not just because i'm an arsenal fan but just because they're players that not everybody you know is is using but they're both still quite effective and they have some really nice stats as well i know that does sound biased and i promise i'm really really trying not to be um then we have shane's team again i know shane has been absolutely hammering um early access and i know his team will definitely have evolved since then but we're still gonna look at this team anyway we've got trapping all we've gone for a german um defense bar but not in there and then that's gone on to infuse a bit of league on and I, I just love these kind of teams i don't know what it is i just love them maybe you could get a better cdm in there maybe have a look at um who was it Jack had now? Emery Chan. Um, I don't know if he's a little bit better defensively. I know he's slightly better rated. Um, but if he could do a bit of a better job for you there, possibly. You could have a look at maybe getting him in. Um, other than that, love the, love the combination. I love Marlon. I absolutely love to see Marlon in there. And um, I can't really fault it. I, I can't really can't really fault it the players you got on the bench as well oh my i don't know if any of them are loans but yeah i, I like it but again i just love i just love seeing like you've obviously you've wanted to get i think it's this guy you've wanted to get in or maybe it's genie i'm not too sure but you've tried to but like i love the fact that you've just made managed to make them work and you've gone for like the dutch and also them being french league the Dutch then linking up to, to Donny. You got Voland in there as well, who's ex German league as well, actually. They are both at uh, Monaco. I love that. I, I genuinely really like that. Nice team. I'm looking forward to seeing how it progresses as well. And I think uh, Shane's team was the last, if we double check. He was indeed. Um, so thank you guys for everyone do massively appreciate it. Um, if you want to have a quick look at my team, this is what we're currently working with. So I am doing a pack and play. I did one last FIFA, um, and I did one a couple of FIFAs ago as well. 
and I genuinely just really enjoyed it you guys seem to enjoy it as well and and yeah this is what we're currently working with so I've gone for Prem um so I can't really infuse another league yet or anything else quite yet but maybe in time we can do we've got Melier in goal uh Firpo Ruben Diaz and Concer uh together there and also March is like do you know what this guy's actually quite underrated as well he just he just works all right I think fullbacks are okay this FIFA I don't think they really matter an awful lot um I've got Barkley, Sol and also Fernandinho Fernandinho is great um just need to kind of improve on Barkley I'd ideally need a better cam that I can put in and not have to play um I just make that switch there so I was using Luke Freeman um because that was all I got and then I managed to get myself Jack Grealish which is great um but yeah so I was having to use uh Sol as a as a cat but I was switching it sort of in game um but yeah if I can get myself a better cam um and and just gradually improve maybe this uh and and yeah possibly the fullbacks but it's not urgent I think the next big thing would be a camp I'd love to get Odegaard maybe get a better striker as well no offense to Bamford um but yeah I think you know we're on course to to do pretty well and yeah really looking forward to doing the pack and play and seeing you know how uh, how it ends up and stuff but um that is all from me for now uh thank you very much for watching the video guys if you want to see anything like this again in the future make sure you join the discord you can always send your teams in on the team review tab on there and we'll review them in stream uh or obviously i can do more stuff like this and have a look in in div uh, different videos and stuff um but yeah with all of that being said take care and i'll see you all soon I want to, every promise I've been praying for.